My name is Clyde Wolf, but my kids call me Ape Man. And I have literally been surviving for my entire life. It's not always easy, but it's always wild. I'm here to pass on what I know so that you too can survive for your entire life. You never know what to expect. In the wild with Ape Man. This time on Into Wild. We're headed up to northern Minnesota, where the game is big, but the stakes are bigger. One of the coolest places on earth deserves one of the coolest survivalists to live. Fortunately for me, the crew determined that it would be impossible for me to survive in these harsh conditions. So we're going in July. Chopper's heading deep into the heart of the Minnesota forest. I have no idea what lies ahead, but I do know one thing. I couldn't have chosen a better guy to keep me alive. And that's me, Clyde Wolf. Surviving in the woods can really take it out of you. I've been out here walking about 10 miles, and if I don't get something to eat quick, I could quickly find myself passing out with no help on the way. Let's go. I gotta find food. Here we go. Sometimes you can find grubs and insects loaded with protein underneath these logs. Worth a shot. Well, here goes. That's what it takes to survive in the wild. Now, if you ever find yourself in a survival situation, you need to have three things with you in the wild. The first, is a knife. Chopper, do you have a knife? Thanks. A knife. Always bring this with you into woods. The second thing, it's a fire starting block. Always bring this with you into woods. Second thing, it's a fire starting block. Fourth, and certainly not least, you need to bring with you a large bag of other survival. Animals. Let's go. battery died back there, but man, I saw a cub up in a tree. It looked like it needed help. So I, I climbed up to help it down, and all of a sudden the mama bear come. And you see what happened. 
take it from Ape Man. You see a mom in the woods, you run the other way. I've just spotted a clementine tree. These are packed with vital nutrients. They couldn't have come any sooner. Almost missed an opportunity here. This can provide you plenty of nutrients when you're in the woods. You never want to miss an opportunity like this. Yeah, look at that. Can't believe I almost missed that. Let's go! Sometimes you can get pretty turned around out here, but I think this natural trail might be the way. Let's go. Now, the fourth most important thing is to find yourself shelter before nightfall. I think now's a good time to start. Uh, <laughs> that's good enough. Oh. See you in the morning. Well, it ain't pretty, but you can't find water. Anything will do. Let's go. Now, they call me the ape man because in the wild, I don't have any fear. What? Clyde! Now, they call me the ape man because in the wild, I don't have any fear. about 3 p.m. Probably a good time to start finding some food. There's one thing Clyde Wolf has learned in the wild. When Mother Nature gives you a gift, don't turn it down. Anything you find in nature you better keep. Yeah.
major part of keeping yourself safe in the woods is traversing nice and easily. The last thing you want is to twist your ankle out here. You starve, you can't move anywhere, you're sunk. So I'm gonna take this natural trail back here, see if I can't find somewhere to sleep for the night. Here we go. I'm gonna take this natural trail back here, see if I can't find somewhere to sleep for the night. Here we go. After setting up camp, gathering firewood, and starting a fire, it was time to sample the fruits of my labor. Overall, not a bad couple of days in the wild. I just hope Chopper can find me and extract me from my current location. Until next time, I'm Clyde Wolf. Stay alive. Next time on Into Wild with Ape Man. Choppers agreed to take me back to where he swore he'd never go again. Where he grew up, Saskatchewan, Canada. It won't be all sunshine and warm water. Mother Nature chooses to teach me once again that there are winners and losers. And finding fresh water may prove to be difficult. Completely alone with no one but my camera crew to keep me company. And I'm issued a stark reminder that a seen fish is not necessarily a caught fish. I'll teach you how to overcome mental anguish and feelings of complete ineptitude. Tune in the next time we air the show to see what happens on Into Wild with Ape Man.